Oh, but yeah, surfer. That should be a sign to Varden Martin to the crippler that Caleb Matavis is not some pushovers. To go after the TLW World Championship again, he could. Whoa! Varden Martin! Varden Martin with a single board cane. Out of nowhere attacking Caleb Matavis. What? What? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Confluence. Whoa, it's that time again for Conflict. Triumph Elite Wrestling presents. I am Aaron Jackson. Welcome back. Coming to the ring first is someone that we all know and we all love. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Caleb McTavish. Caleb McTavish is going to be in action tonight against Cole King. Caleb McTavish is a man, is a man corner, I would like to say. Cornered by the Frenchman Varden Martin. He's been attacked by Varden Martin in the past couple of episodes, both verbally as well as physically. But tonight, Caleb McTavish's opponent is not Varden Martin, but is this man. For Cole King. He's a boxing guy. And I can say that for a lot of the guys in TRW. But this guy seems like he's not organically trained, if you know what I mean. Referee rings the bell, here we go. Caleb Matavis, I, I, I can't really see that this is going to be a tough matchup, but we'll see what Cocaine has in him. He's been hanging around Doug lately. And that's, you know, that's a combination that I don't think any of us really need to see. It's Cocaine and Doug. Ladies and gentlemen, we also want to remind you to check out our TLW highlights that is going on on the channel, as well as, as, well as the TLW Legacy Moments, showcasing all of the greatest moments in the history of TLW. As Caleb Matavich ducks underneath and jumps over Kane. The superior talented wrestler is showing his superiority right now so far. Small DDT and Cocaine who I'm beginning to think his glasses are pinned onto his face. But then again, I don't really want to see what his eyes look like. Nice drop kick by Cocaine. Don't know how, don't know how he got up that high with jeans that tight. Caleb Matavis misses one of his own. Cocaine kicks him in the rear end. Into the corner now. Caleb Matavish, second rope, top rope. Hurricane on Cole Kane, the athleticism. That's something you don't usually see out of British born professional wrestlers. Something more akin to the luchador style of South America. And now Caleb Matavish, all the way up to the top rope. Telling Cole get to his feet and another double drop kick and a back flip. Caleb Matavish here in the crowd. This one is in his hands right about now. It's on his side. Oh, jawbreaker. I'm pretty sure that's not the thing uh, Cole can't use to put in his mouth. Now Caleb Matavish goes to the top rope. Oh! 
The crowd is showing Caleb nothing but love here so far in this opening match. Conflict episode 21. Oh, that insults to injury. Or is it injury to insults now that get up a showboating, feeling the crowd, hearing the crowd. Possibly this is more directed towards Varden and Martin than it is to Cole Kane specifically. Caleb is in his comfort zone. The top turn buckle. Ah, he drops down. Sees a different look. Maybe Cole wasn't in the right positioning. Seems that way as he goes back to the top rope. Ah, he jumps down again. He's teasing the crowd at this point. Certainly teasing them. Oh, maybe he teased a little bit too much. Cole Kane returns with a jawbreaker of his own. But Kayla McTavish answers with a jawbreaker of his own. Everyone likes jawbreakers. Ooh, DDT. A day day T by Kayla McTavish. He's waiting on something, maybe some type of springboard maneuver. What could it be? Springboard drop kick? Or maybe just a good old fashioned punch. Oh, he misses a flying elbow, it looked like. Caleb might have been out there on the outside a little bit too long. And a 450. I don't think he actually, it looked, well, it looked like he hit him a little bit. I'm not exactly sure. It looked like he got him with his knees more than his torso, upper body. Now Caleb maybe he's going to try again. He tries again. This time he hits it. 450. 100%. Roughly goes for the pin. Two. Three. Caleb McTavish is the victor. Showing that Varda Martin has a lot more to worry about. Caleb McTavish victorious with the springboard. 450 last. Ladies and gentlemen, the huge announcement. Survival episode 21 for the TLW Duo Championship. The Nation of Domination, the former champion. The Nation of Domination. The State of Emergency, the former champions will take on the Latino Nation of Domination. This is going to be a humongous match on survival. Make sure that you guys tune in. You don't want to miss this one, I promise you that. Maybe they should change the name to that. The Latino Nation of Domination. Or maybe not. That has a lot of stuff with uh, communist Cuba. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you please subscribe. So you don't miss any action. Time for the next match. Is Derek Peters in the ring? Oh, here we go. This is. A man known as Lifer. A very dangerous man. Lifer, who is one to often put people in tables. The choke slams. In fact, that is how. Well, that is the reason why we have not seen Michael talk that in a very long time. I don't know what happened to that guy after Lifer put him to the table. This man is not someone you really want to be in the ring with. Sorry, Derek. Throw that, throw that at before your last name was Peters. You know what I mean? I mean, come on, Peters? Peters? Lifer told him to bring it. 
Life for going in circles. Coast line. Playing mind games with Derek already. Daryl Peters in an ugly blue singlet. Lifer. Rotating suplex. Lifer has to be standing around six foot four, maybe six foot three, six foot four. The man is quick. Surprisingly agile. Alex has a lot of power to him. Look out for the truck slam. Look out for the boot. Look out for the nail in the coffin. Now I don't see to be in much of a challenge for Mr. Lifer. But I'm sure he's going to take his time. Oh, there it blocks an overhand. Oh, God, a headbutt. That might bust his lip open. And now he's raking Peter's eyes on the top rope. Hits the rope for the drop kick. Rock hit to the cranium. Lifer. Vocalizing in the loop fast press. Lifer once there to get to his feet on his own accord. That didn't work, Lifer. Trial and error, Lifer lands on his back and still gets up faster than Derek Peters. Ow! Lifer going in circles again. Wait a minute. Lifer going in circles. I think I'm beginning to understand uh, his name. Derek back at another head, but. This time to the forehead. Nail in the coffin. Lifer is not done. Lifer isn't finished. He wants Derek on his feet for something. Oh! What does life go for here? Oh yeah, I think that's it. Choke slam. Life goes for the pin. One, two, and a three. This man is this man is dangerous. This man is strictly dangerous, and I don't think he's done. He is not done with tormenting Derek Peters. The crowd. The crowd is behind Lifer. Oh, just tossed him. This is the power I was speaking about earlier. Another nail in the coffin. That's two now. How big is that coffin? Lifer, what is he going for? Another truck slam. That's it. That's it for old Derek. Lifer is domination. Ladies and gentlemen, remember to subscribe, like, and comment. We need to hear from you. We want to know your favorite matches, your favorite wrestlers, your favorite moments on this episode as well as the other episodes of Conflict. Remember to share this video with all of your friends, preferably your wrestling friends. If you share this with your ordinary friends, they'll probably look at you crazy. And here is someone that we got to meet last episode. 
This is Bishop Parks, who was offering his services to the men and women of Triumphant League Wrestling. In a very weird way. Let's see what weird things he's going to have to say tonight. In his purple suit. That are two tones. Got a perm. Just here, slip back. Slip back. Hey, whoa, you watch it now. Bishop Parks offering his services to Salem Bell, Jalen Christian, not the trash man, but Mr. Prince Alex. Very interesting. That's going to be on survival. And speaking of survival, as I look at my notes here, survival episode 21 coming to you very soon. Let's run down this incredible match card we have on this regular episode of survival. All right, they're telling me not yet. Okay, live television. You can't edit this out. Survival is going to be in Seattle, not Detroit. Seattle. <laughs> Seattle, Washington State. United States of America, North America, Western Hemisphere, Planet Earth. Just had to make sure people knew. I don't know the coordinates or nothing. All right, I don't, I don't know that. But the aforementioned marquee match, the TLW Dual Championship is on the line as the SOE gets their rematch clause against the Latino Nation who beat them at the Gauntlet Struggle. That's not all, of course. We also have Joey Thrasher versus Salem Bell. Salem Bell is going to be in action for the first time since he returned to TLW from his mysterious exit. And his even more mysterious return. Joey Thrasher is someone whose uh, stock has been rising lately. We're going to see how Salem Bell is in full action. What match that's going to be. Also, on Survival, episode 21. Oh, yeah. Nathan Devastation versus Russo Mega. These two just cannot stop fighting each other. And, I mean, who really wants me to stop? Not me. Certainly not me. I can't wait to see that. With the Devastation, brand new lightweight champion. Reese Omega, not too happy about that. But now it's time for the main event of the evening. Speaking of the Frenchman here, it's Varden Martin. Varden Martin has been someone since we've known him has been someone that has been particularly cool in his wrestling style and technique recently he has been cool with his verbiage insulting Caleb McTavish last conflict he said that he will live up to his nickname and cripple Caleb McTavish cripple these are words Caleb did not take lightly at all. And I don't think I don't think we should take them lightly as well. As we've seen this man's past, we know that his repertoire of maneuvers is something something definitely dangerous. And his opponent for tonight is the all new Willante! to go after the TLW World Championship again, he could. Whoa! Martin Martin! Martin Martin with a single board cane. Out of nowhere And this is what Caleb happened Mantavish. last conflict. After Caleb Mantavish's match, Martin attacked him with a single board cane. 
Referee rings the bell. For Alante, the young luchador. And then with the crippler. Oh! What a running uppercut. Could that be a European uppercut? I mean, he's from France. I don't, I'm just saying. Oh! Just a punch. A knee. To the oh, and a kick. Right to the to the chest. Oh! So far, it seems like Martin might be targeting the upper body of Berlante. Oh, uh, whoa! How sneaky is this Frenchman? Oh! Oh! That! That was not good for Berlante. However, Berlante catches Ryder Martin in the slip. Now he's the one getting some offense here. Kick to the spine. Those kick packs. Vargas says absolutely not. There's him into the ropes. Ducks underneath. Jumps over. Whoa, fall over. Net breaker. By Vardin Martin goes for the pin. Blanche kicks out at two. Oh, chop. Like it was to his face. Is a chop to a face just a slap? I'm not sure, but Berlante over the top rope sends Varda crashing down to ringside, stomps and kicks, throws them into the technician's area. Looks like Varda slipped and ran right into Berlante's foot. Oh, oh, goodness gracious. These guys have never wrestled each other. I don't think they've ever even met each other, but there's already some aggression. Maybe Berlante is uh, trying to fight off some of that steam from his loss last episode against Black Ice. You talk about a match, that was, that was certainly, certainly a great match. Ooh! Hook the arm, DDT, no way for escape from that. Now, Martin to the top rope. Lance, however, is getting to his feet. Varden may need to rethink his plans. Oh, he catches him again. What a... Oh, Pearl Harbor. Oh, looks like he's going to stretch him. No, he didn't. They, however, bust both of his kneecaps, pal. Now Varden is attacking the legs, the lower extremities, the knees specifically of Berlante. It's a smart decision. Take out the luchador's knees and take out probably 90% of his moveset. Varden uh, definitely has done his homework. Oh! Frog splash to the back. I don't think that was on purpose, but it seemed like it was effective. Oh, Lante is quick. He is quick. Full arm in the punch. Referee. That's illegal. Barley. Throw the Blanche to the outside. Middle rope drop kick. A pull out of the ring away. Now Berlante is at ringside. And Varda Martin is trash talking. Telling him to stay out. Varda wants to go out there. Referee won't allow it. That's odd. Oh, Mr. Clothesline. The wild clothesline referee definitely played the part in that.
Now Bravante looking to get some air. Springboard. Oh! And he also also goes for flying elbow who misses as well as Kayla Matavis, but he lands with that reverse DDT. And a standing shooting star. Here we go. A pin. Second pin of the match. Martin and Martin kicked out even before one. I don't know if that was. Well, I just can't believe it. I can't believe it either after that shooting star. Kick to the midsection. Oh! Oh! DDT! Planting him right to the ground. And now, Martin. Oh no, not this. Not this cradle. Uh, suplex. Oh! Bridge. One, two, three. That's all she wrote for Belante. As Varder Martin picks up another win. You know, with all of these wins, he is sure to get the number one contendership for the All or Nothing Championship very soon. Count on that. Corey Thrash is going to have something to look out for. And Varden, Varden is not done with Belante. We saw this. In the last match, Pat Breaker on Berlante. The match is over. The match is over. Harden. Springboard. Frog splash. And now he's attacking the legs. The crippler. Trying to cripple Berlante. The crippler is trying to cripple Berlante. Attacking the legs of the luchador. It's just an easy way to cripple someone as you can possibly get. And now he's looking to take it too far. Even further than Aubrey was by bringing that chair into the ring. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And here comes Caitlin Matt Tavish. Takes the chair away from Varden. And he runs out of the ring. The Frenchman is on the retreat. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Conflict. I am Aaron Jackson. Please make sure that you comment, you like, and uh, you share this video. And make sure that you are here for Survival Episode 21, Latino Nation, State of Emergency Duo Championship, Nathan Devastation and Riso Mega, Jody Thrasher and Salem Bell. Don't miss Prince Alex. I know he's going to be there. Kate. Carson in the touch booth is going to be there. It's going to be an incredible show in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> we got to keep we're not in Detroit. I don't think we're ever allowed to go back in Detroit. Mayor Jackson, thank you for watching. Until next time.